Uh, temperatures reaching into the 90s today, but still a pretty nice day, especially if you're this young person there enjoying the water. But get ready for another potential record-breaking week. Michael Fish is here with more on that. Michael? Uh, Charles, it's the only way to get relief around here. If you're right by Lake Michigan or if you're in a pool, now tomorrow we may not see any relief by the lake. And of course, that includes Milwaukee as well. Check this out. Boy, have we been breaking records around here. Record highs in one year. We've broken eight, or I should say we've set eight records so far. That's the sixth most ever on record. We're only halfway through the year. Madison, or those of you who live inland or away from the lake, 19 record high temperatures so far just this year. That's the most there ever. It is an unprecedented year as far as heat is concerned. And guess what? More of it for you tomorrow. Heat advisory, all of southeastern Wisconsin. Now that goes into effect at noon tomorrow, but this is a multi-day event. We're going to have two big days of heat, so it goes right on through 9 o'clock in the evening on Tuesday. So two days of heat, and boy, are you going to be feeling it. Imagine if we were at our average high of 80, how cool that would feel. Way above that again today, even by Lake Michigan, where it cooled down, 88 in Milwaukee. But look at as you head to the west, upper 90s, and that pretty much for all of us tomorrow. Not only that, we're going to have a little bit of humidity thrown on top of that as well. Your temperature right now in Waukesha is 77. It is still 78 in Milwaukee, 76 we're seen in Kenosha, and 81 in Watertown. But let's factor in the humidity, what the heat index feels like. It still feels like 84 in Watertown and 81 in Milwaukee. Wait until you see these heat indices tomorrow night. It is going to be a very warm evening. These are probably still going to be around 90 degrees. That's what it will feel like tomorrow at 1018. Dew points right now. Look at this. They're starting to pool at the surface. Upper 60s. We're going to keep these mid to upper 60s around through the next couple of days. So it is definitely going to be hot. Not only that, it's going to be a little bit humid as well, just to make things worse. Now, satellite radar out there. A lot of clouds to the north, just a few high clouds passing on by, but not bringing us rain that we desperately need. There is a front out to the west, and with some of that clearing, if you missed them late last night, there is a slight chance that we could see them again tonight. The aurora, or the northern lights, we could see them because solar particles are still slamming Earth. Right now in Canada, there are some northern lights. They were here last night, but you were probably sleeping right on through them. Now, as far as your Monday, Let's get back to the heat again. It is going to be a real warm one, and it looks like a southwest wind will be strong enough where if there's any relief by the lake, it's going to be right at the lakefront. Most of us just going to be hot like this. Warm front rolled on through without much fuss. We would have liked to see some rain with it. That wasn't the case. No rain for tomorrow, and as far as Tuesday, a cool front, and it's not very strong, could kick off a stray shower on Tuesday afternoon. Better chances this rolls on through Tuesday night. No guarantees on the rain, and we go from hot to warm. It's not going to be a huge cool down as we head into Wednesday. But as far as tonight, 70, mild, mostly clear skies. 97 degrees tomorrow. It's going to feel like over 100 degrees on your skin as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Not much relief by the lake. 78 for our low tomorrow night. That's close to what our average high should be. And it's going to be muggy as well. And then Tuesday, 96, even a little bit warmer inland. An evening storm possible, slight chance of it in the afternoon. And remember, we need that rain. And even though there's a chance on Wednesday, right now that chance, you guys, is 30%. And that's not good. Yeah. But at least it's going to cool down. So we need rain. We need it to cool down. At least we'll cool down a bit. But as far as rain, mm -hmm. that's going to be a toss-up Tuesday night and Wednesday. Thinking about our farmers out there, they really do need yeah, the rain. Yeah, they sure They're do. They're struggling to water. Yes, so they do. Need some rain now. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Fish. Yep.